hey guys uh, welcome to my channel data driven decision in this channel i talk about the data science and machine learning kind of stuff if you're down for that please subscribe to my channel and see different kind of awesome videos i make for data science so today's topic is all about the binary cross entry okay. cross entry So what is the binary cross entropy? It's a loss function basically. So we are going to use this particular loss function in case of a classification problem. So suppose you have a uh, you have a model which can classify this particular thing is going to happen or not. Uh, suppose churn prediction model. So in a banking system, there is a churn prediction use case is very popular. So we can think of uh, this particular transaction is going to be churn or not. Like he's going to pay uh, for the transaction or not like this so uh, so for this uh, suppose there are suppose some of the features like feature one there are feature two feature three feature four so there are some about uh, some of the features are there and there is another the output value is there so this is the output actually okay so suppose uh, some of the input is there then it is the one some of the inputs is there it's a zero some of the input is there it is one some of the input is there it is zero so this model uh, this is basically the actual scenario like based on these char characteristics or criteria it is going to tell you it is going to be one or zero okay so this is the uh, uh, use case of scenario right now so how you can build the model which can classify correctly that uh, this is going to be one or this is going to be zero so in that case how we can do this we are going to use a uh, cross entropy uh, function at the end of the model as a loss function so suppose uh, in every model you will see the probability value of a particular class so suppose uh, for the class 1 it is giving around 90% uh, prob probability okay for this it is going to be around uh, like 50% probability of being 1 okay and it is going to be around uh, percent probability so if i give you this uh, chart like how it is going to happen removing this it will be much more easier to showcase you so suppose uh, uh, the chart would be something like uh, the actual actual scenario okay actual scenario because then the predicted okay. the probability and the corrected probability okay so these are the different different scenarios are there so how you can do this so actual scenario will be like suppose 1 0 0 0 something like this okay and the predicted probability is uh, it is giving that 1 and it's also corrected the given that's 1 okay this is 0 correctly able to give you 0 this is 0 but it not able to correctly give you as 0 but it gives 1 okay but uh, for this it's also not able to correctly give so it's given to 0 for this it is able to give correctly okay so over here the probability of 1 is around 90 percent okay probability of 0 is around like 80 percent okay and probability of uh, over 1 here is around 50 percent okay so this is around 40 percent it is around 80 percent in this way you are getting the probabilities basically so what is the probability of for a character probability character probability means because it is actually happening one and predicted is also one so the we will just take this probability 90 percent okay and over here also actually scenario is zero predicted scenario is also zero so we are going to get the similar 80 percent but in this scenario what happened is that actually is zero but predicted is one so for one we are getting around 50 percent probability to get the probability of zero what you can do is that 
we can just use the uh, like one minus y so over here one y is one so one's probability is 50 percent so it is going to give you like one minus 50 percent so it is going to give you around 50 percent probability so here it is going to be around 50 percent probability okay so in this scenario also suppose you see it is uh, one but it gives us zero so the probability of zero is 40 percent so one minus 40 percent it is around 60 percent so the correct probability is 60 percent for one and over here it is zero it is zero so it is not changed so we should take this particular probability so that is 80 percent so this is the probabilities you are going to get okay now what you can do is that you can change the log of these probabilities so so uh, i'm just uh, putting it over here so you can think of like uh, taking it here so log log of corrected probability okay log of corrected probabilities this is the value which is the log of this values okay suppose the log value is like uh, minus 0 0.2 0 0.2 minus 0 0.01 0 0.0 like this something like this because you are taking the log value so that is why it is coming now negative values 0 0.0 0 0.03 0 i'm just uh, taking the hypothetical numbers so these are the log values so now what is the cross entropy for this scenario you just take the average of all those values like you just take the average of like uh, 0 0.02 plus 0 0.01 plus 0 0.03 plus 0 0.01 plus 0 0.03 okay by the 1 2 3 4 5 so we just take the 5 over here so and just take the minus of it yeah minus of it so minus of this minus of it okay so it will be around like uh, 2 3 6 7 10 so it's going to be around 1.0 by 5 okay it's going to be like 0.2 0 0.2 so this is the cross entropy for this particular scenario so every time whenever the model will learn for every iteration it is going to calculate this cross entropy and the objective of this uh, model is to reduce this cross entropy as low as possible so in that way the model able to learn the characteristics of the features and able to perform pretty well in the uh, real life scenarios so this is the binary cross entropy so the same logic you can also apply for like multi class uh, classification also so <coughs> so in that case what happened is that instead of the uh, like two classes you are going to get the three class or four class or five class so there are different kind of classes you will find over there so suppose over here you are getting like zero and one already so there is a possibility that in a different scenario you are getting like 0 1 there is a 2 there is a 3 there is a 4 there is a 5 so different different uh, classes are already there so in that case also you have to find out the uh, actual scenario okay actual then uh, the probability like prediction what is does it provide okay then the probability then the corrected probability okay. so you will get the actual value predicted value probability value and the corrected probability value then you take the log of those probabilities corrected okay so then you will just calculate the uh, like average of all those values and we get the binary cross entropy or cross entropy value okay so i hope you like the video uh, if you like it please subscribe to my channel and see different kind of awesome videos i make for data science i see you soon with a new video
थैंक यू फॉर वॉचिंग माई वीडियो